everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm finally filming this video, what I eat in a day. And if you guys know me at all, maybe you're new, who knows, uh, but I actually hate being in the kitchen. I do not like cooking or making food and I also don't eat sugar and that's refined sugar. So I do still eat the natural sugar found in fruit, although I do limit my fruit intake. Um, so I am sharing with you today my top five super simple, easy recipes that I, I use on a daily basis. Um, I don't obviously eat all of this in one day, um, but these are the, my go-to favorite things to make. If I mention anything, um, I'll, I'll definitely have it all, just all the information linked down below, but let's get started with the morning and then we'll progress our way just with the rest. <laughs> the first thing that I try to do every morning is drink a big glass of water. So here I am doing that. And I'm sure you've heard the importance of this before. So we're just gonna move on to coffee. I can't even describe to you how much I love coffee. I look forward to it every single day and it might sound kind of sad, but it literally helps me get out of bed each morning. And I don't even drink it for the caffeine. I just enjoy the taste so much. I also highly recommend this espresso machine. It's definitely an investment, but it is so worth it. You get fresh ground coffee every day. You can make fancy drinks with steamed milk if you want, but I just prefer my black Americanos and that's just hot water and two shots of espresso. <sighs> It's so delicious and actually quite healthy if you don't add in sugar. There are lots of antioxidants and health benefits in coffee. All right, so the very first food recipe that I'm going to share with you can be enjoyed for breakfast or as a snack anytime throughout the day, and that is chia seed pudding. And it only involves three ingredients. That's chia seeds, black or white, both work. I have black unsweetened almond milk or a milk of your choice, and then vanilla extract. And I found that for every one cup of milk, you should use three to four tablespoons of chia seeds. So I typically get a glass jar or a cup, I put in the milk and the chia seeds and then stir. And I stir it up pretty well because the chia seeds do tend to clump at first. And then I add in a splash of vanilla and I stir it again. Then you cover the jar, place it into your refrigerator for at least two hours, or you could even do it overnight. If you happen to think of it, sometime in the first hour, you could stir it one more time just to get rid of those clumps. So then after a few hours, pull it back out of the refrigerator and it's time to enjoy. It's definitely very similar to tapioca pudding. Um, you could even add in more of a sweetener, maybe like honey or some syrup, but I really like it completely plain and think it's so delicious. Another food that I often enjoy for breakfast, and to be honest, for lunch or even sometimes dinner, is eggs. And I have a sweet version I'll show you and a savory version. So let's first start with the savory, which is eggs and goat cheese. Goat cheese is a fancy cheese and it really makes me feel like I'm eating at a restaurant. I just crack three eggs directly into a a pan, no need to scramble them in a separate bowl first, and then just stir everything together. Once they start to cook, I just sprinkle in however much goat cheese I like. Um, sometimes I go heavy, sometimes I go light, um, and then you just stir it together more, and then you stop right before the eggs are fully cooked. This here is the secret. Since the eggs are still hot, even after you turn the heat off, the eggs will continue to cook. So stop before they're ready, grab a plate, and then you plate them. This is how you get delicious eggs that are not too dry. Give this technique a try. Now, if you want a sweeter version of eggs that really seem like pancakes, try this three ingredient recipe that only includes eggs, banana and cinnamon. So I recommend one banana for every two eggs. So start with the banana in a bowl and mash it all up. I like to use a whisk just because I feel like it works really well. Then add in your eggs, mix together to create like a batter, and then you just add in some cinnamon. Once my pan starts to heat up, I like to add some coconut oil just to prevent any sticking. Although honestly, I'm not even sure I need to do this anymore since I'm using our new pans and I've noticed that the food doesn't stick nearly as much. But either way, coconut oil is a healthy fat and it does give it some nice flavor. So I usually just pour three little pancakes. I wait about a minute until it seems like the bottom is cooked and then I flip. And this can be tricky at first, but you'll soon get the hang of it. And honestly, it doesn't need to be pretty. They'll taste good either way. And there you have it. Egg banana pancakes. 
So feel free to drizzle some syrup over top. But again, I am very boring and I like to just eat them plain. And my kids love them plain too, without syrup. Oh, and if you're curious what pans I am using, they are ceramic and I've had them for about a month now. I did a lot of research before ordering these because I really wanted something healthy. And I'm happy to say that we've been really enjoying these. So if you happen to be in the market for some new cookware, I can link these down below. They're actually from Amazon. The next thing I wanna show you definitely isn't my favorite thing to do. And I don't do it every day, but it is juicing. So this is a great way to get a lot of vegetables into you. So here's my juicer. I can also link this one below because I think it's really good. It's actually a slow churning juicer, which is better for keeping the nutrients intact. And then here are all of my green vegetables um, I like to juice. There's kale, collard greens, Swiss chard, celery, and some ginger. And, and to make it taste better, you can definitely add in some fruit, perhaps an apple. Um, but I actually enjoy eating my fruit. So my goal here when I juice is to actually make it taste pretty bad and I just down it as fast as I possibly can. And I know that sounds really weird, but that's just always what I've done. I also recommend drinking this on an empty stomach and then waiting at least 20 minutes before eating something else, just so your body can focus on absorbing everything really nicely. And I try to do this every few days or at least once a week. Alrighty, so now we're gonna move on to something a little more savory, salty, spicy, and that is cheesy buffalo cauliflower. And this is something I made up by myself and you may not like it, but I really enjoy it. So I thought I'd share. So you'll need a head of cauliflower, some cheddar cheese, and then some buffalo wing sauce. And my favorite way to cook cauliflower is to actually steam it. So you will need a pot and this steamer basket. If you don't have a steamer basket, I can link this one below. I use it almost every day to cook my vegetables. So you'll just fill the bottom of the pot with some water, throw in the cauliflower or whatever vegetables you're using, put a lid on top and then cook until the veggies are tender. Cauliflower is actually pretty quick. So once they're ready, just put the cauliflower into a bowl, sprinkle and melt some cheese on top, and then drizzle some buffalo sauce. And when you're in the mood for something really flavorful and savory, this hits the spot every time. I figured I would save the best recipe for last. This is my favorite, favorite thing to eat almost every single day. It is so healthy, so delicious. I'm telling you, you just, you just really need to give this a try if you haven't already, and that is an acai bowl. So I'm gonna share my favorite way of doing it that is extremely low in sugar. The only sugar that's in it is the natural sugar found from one banana. So you'll first need a blender. You'll also need pure, unsweetened, frozen acai. And acai is only found in one part of the world, so it always comes frozen. This is my favorite brand because you can get it completely pure. So be careful when you buy this because there are many versions out there with added fruits and sugar. I throw in the banana, a layer of ice, and I just eyeball the ice, and I definitely use too much here. Um, one or two spoonfuls of raw cacao powder, which by the way, is another healthy superfood. And then finally, unsweetened almond milk. I just pour that for about two seconds and stop. So clearly, as you can see, this is not an exact recipe and you'll learn that it doesn't need to be perfect. So then you just blend everything together, uh, but you, you will need to use one of those little tools that like damp everything down just to push the mixture together as it's blending, because this isn't a typical liquid. You want this to look like ice cream when you're finished. So once it's sufficiently mixed and it does resemble an ice cream texture, just pour it directly into a bowl. And you can get really fancy here. You can add some berries, some granola, honey, coconut shreds. But again, I am very boring and I eat it just like this. And trust me, you will love it and you don't need to feel guilty about eating it. It is packed full of healthy nutrients. So I hope you enjoyed my five quick and easy healthy foods that I like to enjoy. Clearly, I am not a gourmet chef, but again, this all is very healthy and your body will thank you. So feel free to give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you happen to be new. And I'll link these videos here next so you can keep on watching. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Bye.